Hello everybody, and welcome to my final deck list this week. Uh, thank you to everyone who subscribed during my first week uh, as a YouTuber. Today we are doing one of my favorite decks, based off of one of my favorite movies, Cars 2. Uh, today we're going over Vehicroids, used by Cyrus Truesdale in the anime. The Vehicroids are a fun archetype based around cars and vehicles that are alive. So without further ado, let's get started. First off, we have three copies of Mixeroid. Uh, Mixeroid is one of the newer support the deck has gotten. It has the effect you contribute a machine monster to summon a non-wind roid monster from the deck. You'll learn that a lot of the Vehicroid cards have the non-wind part on it. Specifically so you don't summon any of the speed roids off of them because that would make them too good. His second effect is that if he's in the grave, you can pay half of your life points, banish any number of machine monsters from the grave, including Mixeroid, to summon a roid fusion monster with the same level as the number of monsters banished from your extra deck, ignoring summoning conditions. However, that monster is destroyed instead at the end phase. So, Mixeroid's a great way to get some cards out that we'll go over later, but honestly, great legacy support. Next up, three copies of Expressroid. Uh, when it's summoned, target two roids in grave, add them to hand. It's a pretty simple effect, uh, but it's one of the best cards in the deck, especially if you summon him off of your Mixeroid, because then you get to add Mixeroid and any other roid that might be hanging out in your grave right back to your hand. For the last three of, I play three copies of Dragonroid. This just got released in the Brothers of Legend. It is a phenomenal card. Its first effect is mediocre to make itself a dragon while it's in the grave. However, once per turn, you can discard this card to activate one of the following effects. You can add a non-wind roid monster from deck to hand, or you can make your opponent unable to respond to any of your fusion summons. So, you can either make him a rota, or a magical meltdown. And, worst case scenario, 2900 is bigger than most of the monsters in your extra deck. So, not a bad card. This deck does play a lot of Garnets, so these are all the one of monsters in the deck. Ambulance Droid, Steam Roid, Stealth Roid, UFO Roid, Submarine Roid, Truck Roid, and Drill Roid. Now, I'm not going to go over all of their effects, because most of them are not ever going to be used. Uh, Submarine and Drill Roid are the only two that you're ever actually going to use. Submarine allowing you to attack directly, and Drill Roid allowing you to destroy a defense position monster during, before damage calculation. <laughs> Uh, otherwise, they're there for fusion fodder. Moving on to the spell cards. We have three Megaroid City. When this card is active on the field, once per turn, you can destroy one card on the field. And if you do, add a Roid card from deck to hand. Then, during damage calc, if your Roid monster battles, send a Roid from deck to grave to switch the original attack and defense of the battling monster before damage calculation. Uh... It does lock you into fusion monsters, but we're not going to be doing any other kind of summoning anyways. But, once again, another great card for the deck. For their fusion spell, we have three Vehicroid Connection Zones. It allows you to fusion summon a Vehicroid fusion monster from your extra deck, uh, using monsters from hand or field, and that monster you summon cannot be destroyed by card effects, and its effects cannot be negated. So, since it's specifically a Vehicroid fusion monster, it does lock you into these three, but you're usually going to be summoning your uh, mobile base off of this anyways. For any of your other fusion summons in the deck, I just play three copies of Poly. Uh, you could play uh, Power Bond, but I felt like Poly was just a better option here because you don't really want to take the extra damage because it's very rare that you're actually going to be able to survive long enough to get a second fusion summon off. Uh, so yeah. Then, to search out some of those one ofs in the deck, we play three copies of Fusion Deployment. A wonderful card just got reprinted in the Cyber Strike structure deck. Uh, reveal a fusion monster from extra deck to special summon one from hand or deck of the materials that were on that card. However, you're once again locked into fusion summons, which you don't play anything else. For some of the ways to cheat out fusion monsters, I do play two ready fusion. This will allow you to summon the ultimate boss monster, your uh, steam gyroid from the extra deck. 
which you can use for other fusion summons, uh, just by paying 1,000 life. Then, as sort of a funny tech, I do play two battle fusion. Uh, if you fusion monster battles, you can have it gain the attack of the monster it's fighting. Uh, if you have this on the field with your mobile base, your opponent can take a whole big chunk of damage. For the one of spells, I play one foolish burial to send Mixeroid. Terraforming for the field spell. Monster Reborn so you can recur stuff like your Expressroid. Instant Fusion so that way you can cheat out something like a Parasychroid for a fusion summon. And Harpy Steel with back row. And finally, we play three traps in the deck. It's just three copies of a Mergeroid Call. When a spell, trap, or monster effect is activated while you control a Roid Fusion Monster, you can negate the activation and then send all copies of the negated card from your opponent's deck or extra deck to the graveyard. It also has the effect where you can banish this card from the grave to add a Roid Monster from your grave to your hand. Honestly, a phenomenal card, best card in the deck, and it's searchable off of your field spell. Now, moving on to the extra deck, we'll start off with three copies of Parasychroid. It takes two machine monsters with the same name, and it can attack your opponent directly. Uh, but you're rarely going to be summoning it via legitimate means. You're either going to summon it with instant fusion or off of your mobile base. Uh, otherwise, Parasychroid is just kind of a fun way to get in for game. Next up, as I said, the true boss monster of the deck, three Steam Gyroid. Uh, you can summon him off of Ready Fusion, or once again, off of your mobile base. And otherwise, he's just a great way to fusion off. Uh, you actually cannot physically summon him correctly because you only play Steamroid. Next up, uh, we play three copies of Mobile Base. Uh, he takes one Roid Fusion Monster and one Roid Monster. He allows you to target one monster your opponent controls, especially a roid from your deck or extra deck with attack less than or equal to that monster's attack. Uh, he has 5,000 defense, zero attack, so if you switch his attack and defense off the field spell, you've got a 5,000 attack point beat stick. His second effect is only useful if it was Master Rule 4, which, lucky for us, it is not. I play one vehicle Jumbo Drill. Uh, once again, this one you can legally summon from deck, however you're usually going to get it, off of your mobile base. Same with your Stealth Union. Stealth Union allows you to absorb one of your opponent's monsters to then attack all monsters your opponent controls. Uh, but what I like to do with them is after absorbing the monster is then destroy it with the field spell, so you plus after getting rid of their monster. Play one Ambulance Droid, cannot actually summon it, uh at all, because it takes uh, Ambulance Roid and Rescue Roid, which we do not play Rescue Roid, uh, and you don't have any way to summon him, but I play him in there because oh, there's no real reason not to, it's funny. Barbaroid, the ultimate battle machine, uh, it takes five machine type Roid monsters, it can make a second attack during each battle phase, however it cannot attack you directly. During damage calc, if it attacked an opponent's monster, negate the effects of that monster, even in the graveyard. And if this card destroys a monster by battle, inflict 1,000 points of damage. Now, finally, we're going to get to the funniest thing you can do in this deck, which is summoning out Elemental Hero Necroid Shaman, and using him to summon UFO Roid Fighter. So, the play you do with this guy is you summon your Elemental Hero Necroid Shaman off of... Mixeroid, because it did not specify that it has to be a machine roid monster, meaning that the last few letters in Necroid work perfectly fine. And then after that, you just hard summon it with polymerization and your UFO roid to be one of the first ever people to actually summon this card, but it's very rare that you'll be able to pull it off. I hope you all enjoyed the video. As always, leave a like, subscribe, let me know what deck you'd like to see in the future. And I hope you all enjoyed.